In the world of movies, there was once a really cool actor who stood out from the crowd. He was known for his smooth style and the way he could play all sorts of characters. One of his best known movies is The Great Escape, where he showed just how good he was. Do you have any stories or memories about him? We'd love to hear them, and don't go anywhere because there are some interesting facts about him coming up in this video. In the realm of cinema, there was a talent whose presence left an indelible impression. The actor had a way of drawing in audiences, making every character he portrayed memorable. His style and charisma were unparalleled, making him a celebrated figure throughout his career. Across decades, he showcased his versatility in a myriad of roles, from portraying a suave secret agent to embodying a tough cowboy. His performances were always authentic, bringing depth to each character he inhabited. Beyond his acting prowess, he was known for his easygoing charm and wit endearing him to all who worked with him. His joy and authenticity shone through in every role, making him beloved both on and off the screen. In summary, his contribution to the film industry is undeniable. His talent, charm, and lasting influence make him a figure worth celebrating and remembering. In a couple of notable films, he shared the screen with some big names, including several Oscar winners and nominees. One of these films, he played Captain Vinton Maddox, adding depth to the ensemble performance. Interestingly, he stepped into a significant role in another movie after negotiations with another actor fell through. This shows his ability to adapt and enhance the overall impact of the films he's in. Besides acting, he had a strong admiration for a classic film, which inspired him to take on a similar role in another movie. This connection highlights his appreciation for great cinema and his willingness to draw inspiration from it. These instances provide insight into his acting career, showing his ability to contribute meaningfully to acclaimed films and adapt to diverse roles, making him a noteworthy presence in the world of cinema. Did you know that despite not getting the role of Zeus in Disney's Hercules, James Coburn had a remarkable career in Hollywood? He auditioned for the part, but it went to Rip Torn instead. Coburn is remembered for his role as CPL. Frank Henshaw in Hell is for Heroes and for starring alongside Steve McQueen in The Magnificent Seven and The Great Escape. His performances in The Magnificent Seven, Charade, and The Muppet Movie were recognized by the Library of Congress for their significance. Coburn's acting was loved by many for its charm and strong presence on screen. He played tough characters and also had comedic roles, which showed his range as an actor. Even though he didn't play Zeus, James Coburn's impact on Hollywood is remembered by fans all over the world. He left a lasting impression with his work in movies, and his name will always be associated with great performances. Amidst the glamour of Hollywood's golden era, a star emerged whose love for speed was as legendary as his on-screen performances. Introduced to the world of fast cars in his father's garage, the actor developed a lifelong fascination, sharing it with icons like Steve McQueen. His collection boasted prized possessions like the Ferrari 250 GT Lusso and the Ferrari 250 GT Spider California SWB, the latter achieving record-breaking auction prices. Beyond his passion for automobiles, he left an indelible mark on cinema, portraying memorable characters with depth and charisma. From his portrayal of Sedgwick Manufacturer in a classic film to his embodiment of Derek Flint's suave persona, his talents transcended the screen, captivating audiences worldwide. His legacy endures a testament to his enduring impact on both the automotive and entertainment industries. In the world of film, casting decisions often involve a mix of potential candidates before the perfect fit is found. It's fascinating to delve into the behind-the-scenes stories of how roles are assigned and the connections formed on set. For instance, The Last Hard Men saw several contenders for the role eventually filled by James Coburn. Initially considered were Sean Connery and Robert Shaw. Similarly, the director's chair had a few contenders before Andrew V. McLaglen took charge. In another film, the role played by Coburn in the Americanization of Emily was almost given to John Astin, highlighting the delicate balance in casting decisions. In the production of Major Dundee, Coburn and Richard Harris formed a close bond, often enjoying drinks together off-screen. These anecdotes shed light on the complexities of casting and the relationships that develop behind the scenes in the film industry. In one memorable moment, he played the gong on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, leaving everyone laughing. Another time, he ended up at a bullfight with Richard Harris, where a small argument turned into a big fight, much to the joy of the crowd. He also had a relationship with Lindsay DePaul, adding another interesting detail to his life story. These stories, along with many others, make up the exciting experiences that define his legacy. 
A renowned actor, he left a lasting impression on the film industry with his talent and charm. Initially cast in a role for a movie, he departed due to disagreements but continued to excel in his career. In another film, he played a memorable character, showcasing his ability to bring depth to the screen. Interestingly, three other actors from the same movie went on to win prestigious awards, highlighting the talent involved. Throughout his career, he was associated with memorable roles, although he missed out on some opportunities. Nevertheless, his performance has always captivated audiences worldwide. His impact on the silver screen is still celebrated today, a testament to his talent and influence. In the movie The Magnificent Seven, he played a character named Britt, showing off his charm and rugged appeal. Alongside Steve McQueen and Charles Bronson, they made a great team that audiences loved. He also starred in The Great Escape, directed by John Sturgis, where he worked with the same crew again. Even though he was super talented, he ended up in seventh place in the credits, which shows just how many great actors were in the cast. Despite that, he still stood out. During filming, they had lots of fans asking for autographs, especially in Germany where The Great Escape was a big hit. This added even more excitement to his already amazing career. First stint, he starred in ads for Schlitz Beer. But after his contract ended, he openly admitted on a talk show that he never actually enjoyed the taste of the beer. He shared a deep friendship with Bruce Lee and even served as one of the pallbearers at Lee's funeral alongside Steve McQueen, Bruce's brother, Robert Lee, Peter Chen, Danny Inosanto, and Taiki Kimura. In The Magnificent Seven, he portrayed Brit. Despite common belief, the cast wasn't comprised of unknowns. Yul Brynner, Steve McQueen, Charles Bronson, Robert Vaughn, and Brad Dexter were all established figures in the industry. Only Horse Butch Halls was relatively new to American audiences. In the movie Payback, he played the character Justin Fairfax alongside Chris Christopherson. The way they acted together on screen was really good, and people liked watching them. This wasn't the first time they worked together. They also acted together in a movie called Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid in 1973, which is still considered a classic in Western movies. He got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1994, which is a big honor in the entertainment world. This showed that people recognized and appreciated his talent and the impact he had on movies. In Hard Times, he played a character named Spencer Speed Weed, showing how versatile he was as an actor. This was the third time he worked with Charles Bronson, and people always enjoyed watching them together on screen. They had a good partnership, and the audience liked seeing them act together. Throughout his career, he made a lasting impression on the film industry. People praised him for his great acting, and he left behind a strong influence that continues to inspire new actors and filmmakers. His body of work is proof of his talent and how dedicated he was to his craft.